Welcome to Castle Newnham's PE department. Our team is made up of hard-working, like-minded people, all with the ambition to guide pupils to an active, healthy lifestyle. Myself, Miss Owen, became the Federation Head of PE at the start of September. This entails me working across both sites, with primary and secondary, in order to create a cohesive approach with the goal of creating a cohort of well-rounded pupils who understand the importance of being physically active. Mr Mills, the former Head of PE, is now an assistant principal, as well as teaching PE and classics. Mr Phillips is head of Year 9 and has been in this role for four years, as well as being a teacher of PE. Mr Sherratt started his new role, assisting with achievement and aspirations, creating a health system and helping pupils with their future career guidance. Ms Reid is a newly qualified teacher, teaching PE with geography, as well as being a Year 8 form tutor. Ms Hussein is also newly qualified and teaches PE with science, as well as being a Year 7 form tutor. Ms Sadler teaches science with PE and is a Year 8 form tutor, whilst Ms Taylor works in PE teaching Year 5 and 6, as well as supporting other lessons around the school. Mr Mulkerins is in charge of primary duty and supports in PE, whilst Ms Marshall is our PE apprentice supporting in lessons and leading gymnastics for primary. Our sports hall is roughly three years old, situated at the edge of the field and the playground. This space provides us with opportunities to deliver various sports, including volleyball, badminton and table tennis, just to name a few, as well as, as, well as enabling us to host other schools for fixtures. From year seven to nine, we deliver our lessons via teaching medals. For example, sports education, health-based PE, cooperative learning, teaching aids for understanding and direct instruction. In year 10 and 11, pupils have options. In year 10, the three options that pupils can choose from include performance-related sport, fitness-related sport and leadership. Our leadership programme runs on the sports leaders qualification. This is recognised on personal statements and therefore very worthwhile when it comes to applying for colleges and sixth forms. Year 11's options include a leadership option as well, but this is where our Year 11's get the chance to teach primary pupils. They also have two other strands which include competitive sports. From year nine, people have the chance to study GCSE PE. We choose the OCR exam board, which has two paper exams and focus on sections including physiology, psychology and sociology. Pupils are also examined practically in three sports of their choice. As I mentioned earlier, we have introduced a health system. This has enabled us to run some co-curricular programmes, not to the usual extent that we would like. This half term we have run Year 7 to 9 basketball, netball and football in order for pupils to gain house points. We have previously ran winter games as form competitions and ordinarily we have a very extensive curricular programme. We're really looking forward to things being back to normal. Sports Day is one of our biggest events. This is split over a couple of days with the final day having secondary and parents come out to watch and support the field events. There is an amazing atmosphere, including a parent-teacher race or relay out just to finish. Sports Award is our biggest opportunity to praise and admire pupils who have gone above and beyond in co-curricular and occasionally in lessons. With awards such as Outstanding Leadership, The Good Egg and Outstanding Commitment, plus is a great excuse to get dressed up. As a department, we love to help fundraising around the school. Whether it's organising a fan run, getting sponged or putting on school discos, we are there as we hope you will be. We can't wait to meet you all. Thank you.